All right, there we go. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Monday. You're on Mystery Card Monday. This is Tamara's Paper Trail. I am Tamara Bertram coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Who are you? Give me a hidey ho. So we like to kick off the show, see who's hanging out with me tonight. Uh, if this is your first time viewing, let me know. Uh, most people are repeat watchers, which tells me I must be doing something right. Um, yeah, let me know if you're playing along, where you're coming to me from. Uh, that was a good sentence structure, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Mystery Card Monday. If it is the first time you're watching, you may not know what's going on around here. Earlier this afternoon, I posted a recipe of uh, pieces that you needed to prep ahead of time. And then we get together here now and I show you how to put the card together. And it's a mystery because I don't know what paper you've got. I don't know what stamp sets you have. So I try to keep the recipe fairly generic so that you can slot in whatever paper you've got, whatever stamp sets you've got for sentiments, whatever embellishments you have. And then we just all do a big old share afterwards and show what we came up with with that same recipe. So, hello, there's Lynn's in the house first out of the gate. Hello, Melanie. Tracy's in the house. Hello, Charlene from Missouri. Nice to see you back. Kathy, hello, my friend. Beach, Cocoa Beach, Florida. Hello, Donna. Thanks for popping in from YouTube. I love it. Hi, Marcella and PEI. Excellent, excellent. I don't know how tonight's going to go, honestly. Um, I'm rarely, <laughs> you know, if you've watched me before, I'm rarely prepared, right? I feel less prepared tonight than usual. So we'll see how this goes. Hello, Louise. Welcome. I love YouTube viewers popping in. I like that. Hi, Kathy. Hello. Yeah, you're feeling less prepared, Kathy. Is that what you mean by me too? Like, oh my goodness. I don't know. Today it's, it's you know what it's like? I got too much going on and I can't settle down. I've got, um, I'm heading off to Seattle. Mm, can't wait on Saturday morning. And tomorrow is the only day that I have to get work done. And I have so many projects that I want to do. Like, I know you guys think I'm a little doolally, but I love prepping. <laughs> I have so many things I can pre 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 prepare. I'm, I'm still working on my extravaganza. Um, that's prepping 48 kits times 12 projects. That's a lot of stuff to prep. Then I've got my team social. I'm prepping 28 kits for that times three projects. There's a lot of prep for that. I'm trying to design nine cards for my uh, my upcoming three classes. I've got uh, swaps going in and out all over the place. I did 14 of them this morning. No, no, 18 of them. I finished off today. I have to do another nine and get them in the mail. And this all has to happen like tomorrow, right? Because you know what it's like when you go on holidays, you have to have everything done up until Christmas to take five days off, right? <laughs> So, so I don't know. Today I couldn't settle down. I was trying to design for tonight. Well, I don't know. And then I've just been rattled. I've been rattled today. So we'll see how it goes. It's never a dull moment. But oh, Marcel, you guys, you're so... Hi, Bev is in the house. Where's my bell? Where's my bell? The bell for Bev. Here's us hiding. Wait, oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, Bev. Hi, Penny. Hello, Liz is in the house. Oh, thank you for popping in, you guys. I love... You know, tonight I was thinking, wow, you know, a lot of times you guys say, oh, I need this tonight. I need the distraction. I need you to, I just need to be here tonight. That's me tonight. I'm like, I need to be here. I need to calm the heck down. Who knows what we'll come up with? So I'm not going to get into a whole lot of other stuff. Let's get going because I really don't know how this is going to go. I've got a card done. I just came up with another one 10 minutes ago that I like even better. So hopefully when I settle down, because you know I will, I'll get into a groove. Again, if it's your first time watching, you know I'm like, blah, 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 blah. and then eventually I'm like, okay. And then you take, no, I never get that low, right? No, it's lies. It's all lies. Hello. Thank you for popping in. Th Hi, Jim. Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. I've been thinking about you lately. I haven't talked to you in like forever. Um, hope you're well. I hope you're well. I know you're just busy. Busy as I'll get out doing all the things. Hi, Susan. All right. Before I go any further, though, it would uh, be in your interest for me to... <laughs> You're tingling. Uh, I need to let you know something. So tomorrow, at midnight tonight, and tomorrow uh, in North America, we are having some close-to-my-heart products are going to be released to everybody. All right? Quick little backstory. If you're not aware, close to my heart, they're no more. We bought out some of their stuff. We invited in their makers. Anyway, we're kind of one big happy family now. 
we had some close to my heart products that we took over from them that we were letting old close to my heart makers and their customers purchase. So they had like some, some sets and some gnome stuff and some kits that were already in the works. So we took those over and they were available only to close to my heart, close to my heart, um, customers. Okay. Those are now being released to everybody at midnight tonight. Okay. Head office has said, people, people, listen up. If you want these, you best be getting in there fast because close to my heart didn't have a ton of stock, like where they would have a thousand of something, we would need 10,000 of something. Okay. So there's very limited supplies of what is available. And this is all the old, that like the stuff that they were trying to clear out now, it'll be gone in like hours. I am sure tomorrow you'll be able to find it. When you go into the online store and you click on shop products, there's going to be a CTMH products product line, something along those lines. So go into the store, check it out. I'm not, I didn't put it in a newsletter. Like stuff is going to sell out so quickly that if you don't act fast, you're going to be going, what? There's nothing. What are you talking about? It's because it's going to be sold out. Okay. Uh, oh no, Donna, no. Ugh. No, I've got my own hip problems. Probably not that bad, Donna. Is it arthritis? Is it? Oh, the only thing that's been hip helping my hip is by rolling my ball against the wall, honestly. Anyway, sorry to hear that. I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, anyway, so if you're interested in the in um, scrapbooking type stuff, if you're familiar with Close to My Heart products, which I am not, check out the store tomorrow. Stampin' Up! is going to be releasing um, a whole bunch of scrapbooking stuff that is going live September 4th to everybody, okay? Demonstrators and customers alike. And I've seen some sneak peeks of things. We're coming out with the um, the white core paper, which means it's not colored all the way through like our paper is. Like ours is dyed all the way through, right? This is like the white center. So if you were to tear it, you'd see some white on the inside. It's double-sided paper. And it's like, say, mossy meadow on one side. But on the other side, it's a slightly more muted version of mossy meadow. So we just like doubled our colors. Um, those aren't all going to be released on September 4th, but those are coming in. Some of them are being released on September 20th. All that to say, tomorrow, check out the store, September 4th, be ready to shop because there's going to be a whole bunch of new scrapbooking stuff in um, in the store and online and all the places. So anyway, I just thought I'd mention that because some of you might be up at midnight with nothing better to do than shop. So there you go. Ha <laughs> ha. How did you, okay, was I doing this already? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, how did you see that? It's not even on there. Stacy, you are so observant. Yes, my friend. This was one of my mom's. So if you, uh, if you were watching me on Facebook, I don't know, Monday or Friday of last week. Um, yeah, I've got a, I've, I now have a, a jar of rings and I couldn't settle on one tonight. So this one is, I'm like, I don't know if I can craft with this big monster on my hand. It's a little distracting. Is it too distracting? I can make something smaller. I have some, look at this one. This one's so cool. Look at this one. My girls are like fighting over this one. I don't know which way it goes, but anyway, uh, my fingers are very, 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 very small. And um, so some of these aren't going to fit. I'm going to have to size up like this. This is a size one. You guys, it doesn't even fit my children, like up to their first, oh, my fingernails are dirty, yuck, um, up to the first knuckle. Like I have the tiniest fingers on the planet, I swear. Um, size one, whoever, hurt, like babies don't even have a size one, it's crazy. Sorry, I just, I have to clean my nails. I have pepper. I have pepper under my nails. I made fish for dinner. I was all excited. I made dinner for my family and nobody was here to eat it. I kind of forgot that kid kid number two was out. Kid number one had a sandwich at four. And husband doesn't really even like fish. <laughs> so, <laughs> I digress. Okay. That's what CTMH products means. Close to my heart products. Let's make a card. Giddy up. Let's go. Okay. Again, if you've, um, if you've watched before, you'll know I'll make this. And then I'll take pictures of it. And I'll post a picture. And then uh, I ask if you've played along for you to post a picture of yours underneath the pictures of mine and then we'll see all the uh see all the lovely cards that everybody can make with the same recipe <sighs> all right i need to get in the groove i need to get in the groove i don't even oh there's more comments there hello ontario cat marsky's in the house hello the grandkids had a blast no doubt right like it's just mom she can't wear them anymore like she was she's very stylish she's very fashionable my mother um, and she was, when she worked, she was, uh, the assistant to the director at Statistics Canada. And, um, so she had a pretty important job and she always looked, she always looked really sharp. She still does. Like you'd never know she was 83 years old. She looks my age, honestly, it's crazy. Uh, but so she always had really nice jewelry. And, uh, so I just took it all because she doesn't wear it anymore. <laughs> so there you go. Thanks mom. All right. I'm going to start off with my 
standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half. We're going to come in with a card stock layer, four by five and a quarter. Four by five and a quarter. Is it four by five? It is indeed four by five and a quarter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Why aren't my comments scrolling? I don't know. Hi, Jennifer. Hello, Alexina. Mary Punches from California. Aw, thanks, Mary. That's, that's actually one of the features of, <laughs> you know how women are so hard on the bodies? This is one body part I like on me, on my hands. <laughs> They're um, uh, piano playing fingers, that's for darn sure. Okay, now this part I know I'm going to get confused on because they're very similar uh, measurements, but we're going to get to that in a minute. So put my layers over here. Uh, the usual tools, inks, die cuts, and embellishments, that sort of thing. You can't see the comments. Oh, well, that's weird, Kathy. I can, but they're not scrolling like they normally do. Oh, sorry. It's all right. It's okay. It's all good. Um, all right. So we're going to come in. I want to put these over here. Well, they're going to confuse me. Okay. Focus. We're going to take our card stock. I'm going to get in the field of vision. Here we go. We're going to fold it in half. I'm trying to find some quick and easy layouts for Christmas because seriously, I'm over 200 in my I must make 200 cards. <clears throat> so I got to get going. Uh, I think I'm going to, I'm sorry, I saw a little flash. I never know. My, my, um, internet is finally fixed. It took Rogers three days. I saw them out there again today and I think it's now fixed, but we might've opened a bit of a can of worms when we called them. And so, uh, I was without internet a lot for, for three days there. And in fact, it slowed down my class on Friday night. I, I thought I was going to have to postpone it. And with one minute to go, um, I got back some internet. So I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, Kathy, hate. That is such a strong word. No hate. I'm just going to tape this down. You can certainly use dimensionals. I'm just going to put this layer on here like that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> these two patterns of paper have come from the upcoming paper in the catalog that's uh, being released September 4th. It's called Take a Bow. Take a Bow take a bow. I don't know. It's a bow. I want to say it is a play on words. Of course it's supposed to be take a bow, but it's with a bow maker die. So I think they're calling it, I don't know how to pronounce it. Take a bow. Let's go with that. This is the pattern uh, that I'm using here. And the polka dots are on the back of this sheet. Really pretty. This is, this is a great stack. Actually. I like this because they are the traditional Christmas colors of red, white, and green. Uh, really, really pretty. And just patterns that are going to be great for such amazing cards. So this is what I'm using for tonight's first card. <clears throat> so designer pattern number one. We need two pieces of this one pattern. And I thought it was, I was really confused when I first read these instructions. I got to give a shout out to who the creator of this is. Her name is Teresa McKenty. And she's at Teresa's treasures.com so I found a card that she made back in 2021 you remember COVID yeah 2021 and so this is where the layout came from and I was just uh I was confused at first I'm going to put this right up here because I know I'm going to confuse myself so this is the first pattern and there's it's slightly smaller so it's two and a quarter across by two and five eighths high and then this one is one and three eighths wide no uh wide by two and a quarter tall so it's not quite the same and then designer pattern number two uh it's real red donna yeah i'll uh let me just double check all the colors in here so it's garden green granny apple green and real red yeah it's really pretty okay so the second pattern that i brought in this is two and a quarter by two and a quarter and this is one and three eighths by two and five eighths so they're all very similar now, I'll just show you the pattern really quickly that uh, Teresa had come up with. Super, super simple. So this big one, this is pattern one I'm calling. She put that down here. And then pattern number two, she put up here. And then she put this one here, pattern one and pattern two. That's it. Isn't this a great little layout? Now, I could have messed around and made these even, so it would have been a little bit easier to chop. And I'm telling you, I've got a million little pieces that are the wrong size because I kept getting in my head and I got confused by it. But this is a, this is the pattern. Now, <clears throat> this is what we're going to... This is what I can do. Um, I can tape it down like this. But it's also something you can 
you can change around is um, the layout. You can put it this way, or of course you could put it this way. Right, so you don't have to do it the way I did it. Um, make it make it work. You could even do something like that and take this one piece away. So you do what you feel, what you're feeling, right? And what am I going to do? I'm going to do. I think I'll do. No, I'll do the first one this way. All right, so we're just going to tape this all down. Oh, and there's two sides. Maybe I should do. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh. Hmm. Oh, but these, well, nah, I think I like these ones best. I like that these, uh, that these dots kind of pull from these dots. We'll stick with it this way. Hello, Barbara. Nice to see you. Oh, I'm glad you love it, Bev. I, uh, I have almost all of it. <laughs> I ordered the majority of it when we could the first night. And, um, I already had to place another order, so my team social is coming up, and we're going to do a big old craft together. Uh, so I needed to order up a lot of product for the team, and so I made a second order, and I had so much, <laughs> I had so much in that order. I earned more free stuff, another half price item. So yeah, I'm I'm very quickly getting into the I own it all phase again. <laughs> so Tracy, yeah, I can replace that, that glimmer paper that you gave me because I have, uh, I've got two packages coming my way in my next order. Uh, so yeah, I haven't been too shy. Okay. Why are they trying to freeze me out down here? Holy crack. And it's cold. Okay. That's our layout. You guys, how fun is that? Now, um, for this one, I think I might go with a, Oh, that is a big circle. No, I am. I mean, I can't get enough of these dies from the, um, uh, spotlight on nature I it's it's on every card I make and it might have a lot to do with the fact that I have about 17 of them cut out already I did a project that resulted in um, I needed a hole in the project so I still have like all of these left over so they're so handy I just keep grabbing one and like here boom I could just stamp happy, I could just stamp Merry Christmas if I had a great big Merry Christmas handy. <laughs> I could do that. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a great big one. How big is this? That's probably too big. That is indeed a really big Christmas. That, oh! <gasps> okay, I'm going rogue already. All right, I'm going rogue. I'm thinking, let's play with this. You want to? Yeah, you do. Oh, that might look stupid though. I don't think it's going to work. This pattern paper is just so busy. This is another, this is a new product. Uh, peaceful season and look at all these fun dyes and things and the christmas it'll get lost okay i'm not going to do it on this it's too big but i will be doing this where you punch out the christmas in one color and then the background that it mounts on they're like my favorite kind of die -cutters. okay that's too big so let's put him away um maybe i should just stick with my original plan let's just stick with my original plan for now i don't i'm not feeling not feeling big on not feeling big on that. Okay, let's bring in <clears throat> this stamp set. This one is one that I really liked. And now that I own it, I'm like, oh, it's not as easy to use as I thought. Because the words are on the pieces. And so then whatever you stamp it in is going to be all that color. So you don't have as many options as I thought I was going to have. However, I found a way to use this. I know, Holly, right? Yes. Um, you, I'm using my own homemade black ink pad again if this is your first time and you haven't seen my Tamara's tips I just took one of our ink pads and inked it with the memento ink because I don't like our memento ink pad because it gets all over my fingers so I'm gonna stamp this in black it's very juicy I'm shedding today I'm shedding a lot right now everywhere I go I found like two hair in my dinner tonight that was gross yes it was my hair <laughs> oh that was bad okay Let's try that again. I smooshed it. There we go. That's better. All right. Close that up. Now, while I'm kind of waiting for that ink to dry, that, that's still really quite gloopy. I'm going to cut this out. It's an easy, easy enough shape to cut out. Okay. I don't think I'll smudge it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it. I'm going to cut it. 
And this is just going to allow the black to dry a little bit more before I start going in with my blends. I'll try to be quick. This I'll try to be quick. Because there's one more I'll make. What time is it? It's 7.20. I can make um, the two cards that I made. And then I've got one more I want to play with. I, it's, I've got some product here that I haven't opened yet. Shocking, I know. When you buy it all, you somehow run out of time to use it all. And I was trying not to use all just new papers because I have a lot of other papers that I haven't even used yet. So let's show them a little love. Okay, there we go. There's our Noel. <gasps> right, Kathy? Oh, yay, Holly. Yay, Kathy. Woo! Where's my... Yay. Well done. Isn't it like a total game changer? <gasps> Marcella. Have you not been watching? Girlfriend. Okay, quick recap. This is our Craft White ink pad. When you buy the Craft White ink pad, you get a naked pad and um, the white reinker. That you have to do it yourself. Well, don't use the white reinker. Use the black memento inker. And then just cover up anything that makes it look like it's white. Uh, so this is now my black. And I'm telling you, total game changer. You'll never go back. You'll never go back. No. I know. Or if you don't have, what you can do is you can take one of your old ink pads, rinse it out. If you've got an old color that you don't have the reinker for, rinse it under the tap, get all that color out. You're just going to reink it with black. So it doesn't matter what color it was. Get all the ink out, dab it, right? Get your paper towel, let it air dry for a day or something. And then go in with your black memento ink. Game changer. Okay. Noel. So I'm going to grab doo -doo -doo, my dark real red. I have been doing a lot of coloring and I've been really, here, look at the pretty card. No, I can't show you that card. It's a swap card. You can't look at that one yet. I've been coloring and I've been so enjoying it. I find it so relaxing. This is the dark red, real red. And I'm actually using um, a new tip on this. My old tip was so frayed that I know you're all going to ask for the Amazon link. I'd have to find it. This is called Ohuhu, Ohuhu brush nibs from Amazon. Oh, is that supposed to be an Ohuhu? Anyway, hoo -hoo. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I've, I, I used two of them today. My pumpkin pie looked like it had been chewed on by the dog. Um, and the red one I replaced and it was so slick, so easy. And so I can guarantee that these tips do work in our blend markers if your tip gets mangled. Okay, I don't want to color this anymore. So that's just boring to watch somebody else color. Okay, then so then I went in with, um, I'm going to go in with Granny. No, I'm going to go in with, yeah, Granny Apple Green. She said confidently, not really knowing if that's what she's going to use. I'm just going to pull this off my other card. <laughs> I don't want to have to make you watch. Here, doo -doo 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 -doo. boom, there it is. Okay, same idea. Okay, so I colored it with the, whatever I just said, Granny Apple. Mm, yeah, it was Granny Apple Green. And then I grabbed these little doodads. What are these little doodads? I don't know what they are. I don't know where they are. Um, they're lost. They're some sort of flat. Here they are. These. Oh, I don't know what they're called. Um, pass. I don't know. They're in the store. Find them. Uh, and I added those here and then one over here. And I'm just going to put it here. Okay, now I think I'm also going to bring in some ribbon. And this is about 15 inches because I measured it earlier. 15 inches. And how did I do this? Okay, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to lay it down on my card like this. I'm going to do great big loops. Kind of like a figure eight. that something like that I want it to come over here but I don't want that side there so let's, let's go like this I think that'll work and I'm gonna tape that down with my tear and tape thanks Elizabeth okay oh 
Oh, hello, Strathroy. Hello. Versamark ink pad, blank pad, and roof. Oh, you've done that with a... Oh, Judy, interesting that you did that with a Versamark. See, I don't mind my Versamark. What? what did, were you having issues with your Versamark that you didn't like it? I'm going to go like that. Tape that down. Secure that. And I'm not sure that's going to lay down nicely, but anyway, we'll go like that. I can spread this out a little bit. Maybe I'll, I'll use a little bit more tape here. Like the way I want it to lay down properly. So if I kind of eke this over here, tape it down, eke this over here, tape it down, then it's a little bit more fanned out. That looks stupid. <laughs> okay. Should have left it where it was. Okay, that's fine. Moving on. Moving on. And I'm going to put some dimensionals. Now, if you've seen me play before, I will put the dimensionals on the project, not on the back of this, because if I put it over here, what if it hits the ribbon? This way, you know that the dimensionals are not going to hit the ribbon, and then your piece is going to be secure where you want it to be, and it's not going to be flopping around in the wind. Like that, I feel like I should have one more of these dots because there's one, two, three, four. Donna will lose her mind if there's four. Right, Donna? I don't want to cause you stress, my friend. So I'm going to get a fifth one and I'm going to put him over here. There. How simple is that card? It's really simple. Ta-da! Okay, 726. I'm going to make another one because I freaking love this one. And it took me a long time to figure out how to cut it because I was a little challenged and the pieces that I wanted, of course, I didn't have. So I'm going to bring in, I, I can't even tell you, you guys, I'm on my third pack of this, maybe my fourth pack of this stuff. This adventure, the Take to the Sky um, from the Adventurous Sky Bundle. I do have a class coming up on with this uh, in um, at the end of September. You can still get in on that if you like. Now, let's get my paper. So I want this pattern and this pattern. So what? Uh, yeah, okay. All right. Uh, never mind. Words are hard. Okay, so I'm going to go with this is my pattern one. So I'm going to go two and a quarter by two and five eighths, which is two and a half and two ticks. Okay, she said confidently, double checking, yes. And then I'm going to do the two and a quarter by one and three eighths. So I want one and three eighths wide by two, no, by one and three, oh, what, one, ugh. measurements are hard. What am I doing? Two and a quarter wide by one and three eighths. So that's one and a half less two ticks. Think, yeah, by two and a quarter, right? Okay, just double checking that that is right. Yes, so that, that's pattern one. Then pattern two, I'm going in with my airplane. So two and a quarter by two and a quarter for that guy. And then, see, this is supposed to be two and nope, then okay, one and three eighths by two. Okay, two and five eighths high. So it's two and a half plus two ticks. Right, by one and three eighths. Just had to wrap my head around that. Okay, so this is a great, 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 did I mention it's great? It's a great masculine birthday card. You can never have too many great or even so-so masculine cards. <laughs> All right, let me grab my blue cardstock. That's a big piece. Ah, September 27th. Look at you, Linda. Thank you. Ear doesn't adhesive back discs. Christine for the win. Thank you, my friend. All right, Chris. Have a good evening. Have a good sleep. All right. So I need a layer that is what? Four by five and a quarter. Four. That's impressive, Linda, that you know that. Uh, four and five, five and a quarter. Really? Four by five and a quarter? Okay. Right. okay, so again, I'm starting with my white card base. This weekend I was chopping up my 
you know how I always have a stack of, of um, card bases and layers? I chopped up two packs of paper only to realize I chopped up two packs of the thick paper. Which, no, I don't use thick, the thick, expensive stuff for layers. No, I was so mad. I like how I didn't realize. Because I could tell when I picked it up, I'm like, this is thick. I'm like, oh, no, it's thick. I didn't even know I had any thick cardstock in my stash. I was not best pleased. Okay, there we go. There's our card base and our layer. Now, here are our pieces. So again, we can do it. This is the way that uh, Teresa, the originator of the card, had done it, which I really do like. But again, you could flip it around and do it this way. Or you could, um, what was the other way I had it? I had, like you could do this. Or the other way around, right? You could do it this. Whatever you're feeling. But I like, I like the way she had it. I don't know. I just, it pleases me. It pleases me. Okay. So I'm going to tape this down. Oh, yay. I'm glad. Hope. I hope you guys um, play along because I'd love to see more options with this layout. Um, I just, I couldn't make four or five different layouts uh, just because I just don't have that much time this week. I, like I say, I'm going to Seattle on Saturday. I'll be packing sometime Friday. Like I don't even know when. Um, tomorrow is when? No, tomorrow. tomorrow's the only day I have to get things done because Wednesday I go see dad and I think, oh, I also have physio and then I'm going for a pedicure with one of my besties and so that's Wednesday done. Friday, I'm going for my birthday lunch. That was in July <laughs> with another one of my besties. Um, and Thursday night, we're going to some cir circus show at the mall in a tent. I don't know. I, I, I bought tickets. It's like a Cirque du Soleil, but it's not. And uh, boom, then Friday, I got my mystery card Monday. And I have a class Friday night. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we're leaving for Seattle. Like... <laughs> Okay, I better do something about packing. I don't know, whatever. Don't have the time to pack. All right, so here we go. There's our layout. So I hope you play a long hope. I'm going to slap that right there. Like, so this, the original uh, Teresa, in her original card, it was this. She had used the old, what did say Taylor Made? You remember that paper that was for the man? It was um, the suit. It was Taylor Made. I can't remember what the designer paper was, was called, but um, it was beautiful and it was blues. And then she just had a sentiment. And that was it. So I thought, well, I'll do that. Now you could put the airplane here. Where's my airplane? Where's my airplane set? Mm -hmm. Let's see if I have one cut out. And then I could show you. Like I do in the wrong colors, of course. But uh, just to show you, you could you could certainly snazz this up. You could slap up, you know, an airplane on it. You know, so you can make it a little bit fancier. There's lots of different airplanes in this set, in this bundle. Uh, but for guys, my husband tells me, no, you can't be, you can't be doing all the things. I don't know. Okay. So I grabbed this stamp set. It's called saying, Hey, 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 Tracy, I'm so glad you exist. If you followed along, you'll, you'll get that inside joke. <laughs> I might have to send this to Tracy. All right. So anyway, I open this up and I've got a, Hey, where's my, Hey, here's my, Hey. And I've got my Knight of Navy ink. Well dressed. Look at the big brain on MJ. Oh, yes, that is it. Well, well dressed. Well, so, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it is well dressed. I think you're right. Well done, my friend. Okay. Oh, now I should have given you a Tamara tip on this one. So this is a solid. This is as solid as they get, right? <clears throat> it, um, well, I'm just going to stamp this down on one of my little circles here. And I'm going to give it a firm... I'm going to hold it so it soaks in. Ah, love it. Now I'm going to close this up for a minute. Well, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you for a minute. This was new. Like 10 minutes ago, it hadn't seen ink. And when I went to ink it, the ink pooled on the stamp. Okay. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. It happens. Sometimes you get, you get a new stamp and it doesn't have very nice stamping at all it's like what the heck you have to often 
what we call season your stamp set. So a lot of people do different ways. You'll take, some people take an eraser and they kind of rub it against here. Some people just smash it on their hand, on their jeans, but that picks up lint. So I don't recommend that. Um, might use your embossing buddy. You might swipe it along there. I just take my silicone mat and I just go <laughs> rubbing it and it just takes off the shine. And yes, sound effects help. Okay. Right. How does that go? <laughs> Um, and then it's not going to pool and you're going to get a much better stamped image. All right. So same with the one that I'm going to do next is the happy birthday. Make sure it's clean. It was new a minute ago. And then it's going to pick up your ink a lot better. Okay. Now, what do I need? I need this little guy. Look, Tracy, I'm using my thing that you gave me. What does that say? Oh, I'm so happy you exist. Yeah, inside jokes, people. All right, I'm going to die cut another one of these little circles from the, uh, oh, look, there's all these bits, from the um, Spotlight on Nature dies. I'm going to run that through. So yes, Craig says, for a fella, you don't need to have all the bling and all the doodads. Just stamp happy birthday. And then give it to him. I'm like, oh, okay. I, I took it one step up from that. I did add a little bit of stuff because I like adding this stuff. Too bad. Deal with it, dude. Right? Okay. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Gotta stick together, girl. <laughs> All right. Uh, where are we going? I'm going to put this down with adhesive. Oh, my alarm, it goeth off. Hang on. One minute, please. All right, so this, we're going to go in here. Stop it. I'm going to tape that down there. This I'm going to stamp with a happy birthday. Oh, yay, Nancy. I was going to give you another message going. Did that Nancy forget? Okay, good. I, something woke me up at 2 a.m. this morning and I thought somebody is going through the box on my porch at 2 a.m. I'm being burgled. So then I thought of you, Nancy, going, hmm, what is there to burgle? <laughs> Nancy's stuff. <laughs> All right. Hi, Nancy. All right. So here we go. Happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday. And I'm just going to pop that down here or here or here. It's going to be really simple. I'm going to add a little ribbon because it's not a lot. It's just a little. Now, oh, what's going on here? This is a, a, one of the ribbons that um, it's a, what is this? Words are hard. Natural Tones Linen Thread. It is coming out in the catalog that comes out when? September 4th. Okay, so let's just get this started. So I just want to do some loopy dupes. that so I've just put some tape on the back of this like I, I've, I'm not really one for these loopy dupes because they always look a little bit ridiculous to me because I overthink them but I'm, I've, I'm getting better after 18 years of doing this I'm getting better okay so I've got oh, for the love of Pete I like to start one looking at it so I know which orientation the loopy dupes are going okay so then I can turn it over and follow suit. So I like to do two or three loops. And yes, I do totally overthink this. I know there's easier ways. Easy is not my jam. I like to do things the hard way. Is that too many loops? It's a lot of loops. Too many loops. Stop. Okay. Uh, scissors. Here we go. Let's cut that off. Oh, I just cut my finger on that one. Something like that. What's that? Okay, that's cute. That's good. That works. Except that this guy's flipped. All right, so now I'm going to go in with a little bit. Oh, behave. There we go. I'm going to secure it, sandwich it with a little bit of turn tape. Hey, guys, uh, paper shares, paper and ribbon shares. Speaking of this ribbon, it is one that is in my paper share and ribbon share. Uh, $105 porch pickup, $125 mailed. You get a little bit of everything. 
you get a quarter of a pack or a quarter of a roll of everything. Uh, you should register for that. Okay, now this one, again, you're not going to end up getting dimensionals wherever there's wax paper. So put your dimensional down here and here. I keep seeing blinks. I think it's my lighting again. And then we're going to take that off. Then we're going to pop that down. Hey, happy birthday. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Okay, or hey, insert clever message here. Hey, good looking. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sure, why not? I have these. You can't get them. They're out of stock right now. <laughs> Opal Rounds Assortment. That's why I buy three of everything. Because then when it runs out, I'm like, oh, I'm okay. I got lots. Maybe that's why they run out. It's because Tamara always buys three or more. Ta da! <laughs> Love this card. This makes me happy. It does. It makes me happy. Now, we have time for one more. It's 7.41. Where does the time go? Okay, so here's what we got so far. My original one of these, it was on a, it was on the green circle. So which one do you like better? The green circle or the white circle? I'm not sure now. I don't know. Vote now. Oh. I'm pretending that this is colored, of course. Okay, so there's that one. Now, I just thought, okay, I like to do one with you guys. Because, you know, I don't have enough stress in my life. Let's just create on the fly. Bev, do you want me to send it to you? Because now I have two. I could send it to you and you could give it to them and sh I won't tell them that I made it. I would do that for you because I love you. Um, okay, guys, I haven't opened this. Well, I mean, I've opened it, but I haven't used it. So why don't we try this? The green, the white, both green. Why okay, you guys aren't helping. <laughs> the jury is out and it's split. Okay. This is Frames and Flowers Specialty Paper. Now, you guys might have to help me on this. Okay, so let's pick two pieces of paper. Which two should I use? That, you know what, this might be too big of a pattern. Like if you look at, um, if you look at this, it's not going to show... The pieces are small, so I'm thinking let's use a tighter, what I will call a tighter pattern. So let's do this one and this one, these two patterns. And then look, look at, are you looking? Oh, I hate this. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, nerds. Okay. Oh, this, this is not okay. Look at, it's just going to fall apart. This is why I didn't include this one in my last paper share because my head would explode trying to divide this up. Um, there is no flip side. Yeah, this is single sided on these ones. Oh, I lied. Oh, look. Oh, oh. sorry, Barbara. You win. Barbara for the win. Oh, huh. Oh, Barbara. I love you. Okay, I'm doing those two colors now. But here's what's happening as I'm about to lose my mind on these. Instead of doing like a die cut circle, I thought, oh, look at all these frames that I'm just going to pop out. And then I'm going to pop into a, um, a DVD case, like one of our stamp cases, because now I have all these pieces everywhere. So let me just do this. All right, that's garbage. I got everybody out of that one. These ones, well, oh, they're behaving a little bit more because they're just these. Okay, I don't want to, I won't take those ones out. These ones I will because they're falling out anyway. Uh, what did I call this? Frames and flowers? This is uh, fra uh, frames and flowers. Look at me. Um, so this should be a quick and easy card. It's 744. So this should be like the epitome of easy because I've got all these frames already oh my lord ready to go maybe this is why i haven't used this paper yet is this terrified me that's okay we'll do it together i will push through my fears for you huh <laughs> is it like checking to see if we have any viewers left okay all right 
Can you believe it's almost September? I'm not going to lie. I'm looking very forward to September. People, people, uh, Alicia will be working. Rebecca will be in school and Craig will be at work. I'll have the house to myself, you guys. <laughs> I'm really, really happy. Okay. All right. So here are our frames and our stuff and our things. Okay. So this will be easy to embellish, like really. So I'm going to chop up my papers. This one, okay, you, they're going to... I'm putting this guy back in if I can. Oh, it's not gonna end well. Okay, you can go back in there. And where's the other? Is that it? Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, so now I have to chop up my papers. First of all, I want. Let's see what colors. Okay, so we do have petal pink. I'm going in. Is this petal pink with a petal pink background? Is this pink? I didn't even figure that's pink. It's like peachy. Oh, okay, I'm all right. Okay, oh Lord, it's a long way down. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I am. Okay, so five and a half. Did you did you catch my tip? Look at. Did you check my tip on how to like put tearing tape on the inside of your trimmer so you can see the markings? Like for those times where somebody says, okay score or cut from the four inch mark up right you can never see the four inch mark well you can if you put tear and tape on the inside of your trimmer i don't need to do that on this i'm cutting the whole darn thing but now this layer in behind i think i'm going to go with pretty peacock my favorite for Oh, I didn't cut it enough for by five and a quarter. That was the wrong way to cut that completely. What was, oh my Lord. It's like I've been drinking. And then why are you putting this away? Okay, so designer pattern number one. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. By two and five eighths, which is two and a half plus two ticks. And then two and a quarter by one and three eighths. Okay, so two and a quarter high, two and a quarter high by one and three eighths wide. Like that. So that's pattern one. Right? Yes, pattern one. And then pattern two. Is two and a quarter. Well, uh, okay. This one, I'm gonna go two and five eighths. One, two, three, four. So two and five eighths. So I'm just, I'm trying to make sure that I've got the pattern going the right way. So this is gonna be two and a quarter by two and a quarter, and then. One and three by two and five. Oh, that was silly. Okay. Anyway, numbers are hard. Two and five eighths by one and three eighths. So just don't watch me cut. Just that was hard. Here are the measurements up here. <laughs> just do those because I think I screwed that up. That was fun. All right. Fold that like this. Seven forty nine. <laughs> Beth. Well, it is $7.49. It's socially acceptable. Let's go like this. I don't need to drink. I have enough troubles without. Okay, so we're going to go like that. Now. Pattern. 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 Isn't that pretty? It is pretty. Look how pretty. Thank you, Teresa Mc somebody whoever I said she was I don't know where I put her is uh, Teresa McKinty McKinty M-C-E-N-T-E-E -E -E for this fabulous layout the other thing you could do too is you could just chop up oh now I want to try it if you took one of our scenery pictures 
and just chopped it into four, like just use one piece and chop it into these dimensions. Then it would be, do you know what I mean? Does that make any sense? It does make sense. You know what I mean. Like, let's just say we had this picture, right? And you chopped it up and you made like, just keep the picture together. You know what I'm saying, Vern? Okay, now, let's put these guys away. Where's the other piece of paper? Okay, put that away. Now, let's see if I've got a frame that I can use. Well, I think I might end up not using one of their frames because their frames have holes in them. So, let's just say I use another one of my circles for my secret stash of circles. And then I can still embellish with all these little bits and pieces. Now, what am I going to say on this? This one, if we went like this, and then we can embellish it. Oh, that's so cute. You just do that, and then you've got sprigs. Oh, I can stamp. It's going to overkill. You know what I'm saying? Pick it up when I'm laying down. It's too much. Like I don't want to hide all the pretty paper. Oh, 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 that one would work. Let's see what else I got. I kind of like. This circle's too big, I think. So I could just sit here and move things around for 20 minutes. I could do something like that, like that. And then what can I do for a sentiment? What do we got in my little... Um, let's see what else have we got. Love this paper. It is good paper, isn't it, Penny? Okay, let's see what else I've got. Uh, la, la, la. I've got them all. Um, it can be birthday wishes. Some like birthday wishes. Okay. This is from Simply Said. So saying hey and simply said. They're just little easy peasy. We'll do this in the peacock. I don't even need that much. I don't want that much. It's too much. Birthday wishes. Just look at all these bits I've got here. So what's this one do? We could even chop this one in half and put half up there and half down here. No, I think just leave it there. I'm just looking for a slightly bigger. I mean, it doesn't even need a sentiment. This could be one of those cards that 
you just have in your stash like for just a note I'm just I'm just looking for some little tiny little buds or something like so I kind of want this on top of it because there's a lot of blank space there Let's see what we've got here Let's look for all these little flowers seeing if they're different sizes I could just do one. I mean, I could just play forever, right? I could just keep moving things around. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. I want sprigs, but it's not happening for me. <clears throat> this is why I don't... Oh! Oh, that buries all that. Uh, what have we got here? Oh. There. I think that's it. I think that's the one. Is that the one? Do I have another one like that? <gasps> Look at these little guys. What else have I got? Who doesn't like a lot of bunch of eucalyptus on their birthday card? And then I could put a bow. How about that? Love layout. It does. It does make awesome. I don't know. I don't think that's necessary, Tamara. Pop this up on dimensionals. Do I need, let's get some twine or some, where's my ribbon going? Is that going to be too harsh if I do white? Let's just see how we're looking here. Some ribbon. Just use the big sprig. All by itself? Well, there were so many sprigs I used. Now I don't know, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. There's so many I used. I think that could just be. And actually, what we could do is we could just do a tiny little sentiment that says happy birthday. Let's go with that. You know what I'm saying? Hang on. Hang on. Like, how about a little happy birthday? there okay that one's a little bit too long let's go back to this little guy happy birthday oh he's so cute okay okay wait I like that idea um just a little, little what am I looking for I'm looking for a scrap of paper I think I have a paper scrap. okay so if I did this like this take your bow punch and make some oh I could do that seems like a lot of work though no I think I just want a teeny tiny little sentiment This is where I end up eating up, you know, a couple of hours trying to figure out when it looks like. I'm just thinking a little teeny tiny. Let all the paper do all the work. The nails are too long. Okay, so I'm just going to chop this off like this. It's totally crooked, so I'll make it straight. Okay, this could use a little twine behind it. Why not? Got twine everywhere. Let's see how this looks. I still have two minutes. <clears throat> okay, so don't forget, if you want to shop for Close to My Heart stuff, you can do that tonight at midnight. Don't forget to sign up for my paper share and my ribbon share. You can do that up until September 3rd. And... Uh, I don't know what else. Things do get buried on my desk. Okay, so I'm going to take that off, and then I actually have to put dimensionals on the tear and tape. Okay, okay it's stuck to my nails. Okay, stop it. Um, because dimensionals won't stick to the wax paper, so I had to take off the wax paper. Oh, stop it. 
happy birthday. Hold on, don't go away. I know exactly which ones I want. These ones, what are they? Blooming pearls. <gasps> look at, oh, look at. These colors work well. One. I love having all the toys. Two. Three. Look at that. Done. Ta -da! Excellent. Where did I get the big roll of twine? Barbara, uh, we used to sell these and I stocked up. Um, I bought about eight rolls and then uh, my good friend Tracy had some extra. And so she um, gifted me some of her stash. But yeah, we used to sell them in that size. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Okay. Now that I've stabbed myself, well, that was just fun. Uh, it didn't go as badly as I thought it was going to. <laughs> I'm going to have to find a home for all of these pieces. So there you go. I am going to take pictures of these cards and I'm going to post them. Uh, and then if you played along, I hope that you will take pictures of your projects and post them. And then we'll see all kinds of different Look at that same layout. Look at the variety. Look at the variety, you guys. So fun, right? Thank you, Alexina. Thank you, you guys. Uh, I think that's it. That's all. It's 802, so I have to get out of here. Um, I think my child came home. I'm not sure though. She was out. How dare she leave? Um, what else is going on this week? So I told you what's going on at midnight shop. <sighs> Use a host code if you can find one on my page. <laughs> um other than that, I guess I will see you Friday morning for coffee break at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. To be there, when I tend to use, oh, I know, Barbara, I'm panicking because I'm down to like my last two rolls. And I'm like, I don't know, I'm going to have to find some more because I use scads of it, scads of it. Hopefully Stampin' Up! will come out with like more rolls that you don't have to buy the five pack anymore. But um, put it in the sandbox, the suggestion box, and hopefully they'll come back with it. Uh, that's it. So I will see you Friday. Mm. I think that's all I have right now. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. That was fun. Just what I needed. And uh, yes, Kathy, try it out and post when you do. I would love that. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Stay amazing. Have a great week.